Everything from cougars to peacocks, snakes, camels, even skunks right at the zoo in Forest Park. And it's located right here in the Pioneer Valley. And Tara Lynn Lachance is the Assistant Education Director at the zoo in Forest Park. And she joins us today with some scary animals. Tara Lynn, thank you so much for stopping by. Hi, Tara Lynn. <laughs> we don't, I, we don't know not what scary. these animals are. They're, They're not scary. scary to you. We don't know what yeah. they are. So, no. yeah, this is the first time we're seeing these. Um, are these cockroaches? Yes, these Great. are Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Put out your hand. No. Gonna make, yes. Come on. <laughs> Creepy animals, you said. No. What are your names? They're not creepy. This is Larry, and this is Louisa. Um, and Seth actually has the boy. I know he's a boy because he has those two bumps or horns on his head. The girl, Louisa, I can turn her around. She does not have those bumps on her head. Oh, yeah. And if you were to zoom in closely on Larry's antenna, they almost look like feathers or that they have hairs. And Louisa has nice, smooth ones. Um, and she actually as a female, so she'll grow much larger than the males. That's another way too. They can grow to be about six inches. And these are only found on the island of Madagascar. They're Madagascar hissing cockroaches. And, and the, on my hands. Yeah, and the holes on their body are called spiracles and that's what they hiss from. So they hiss through those tiny holes and they puff air through them. And usually a whole colony will do that as a um, distress call, like so they're warning predators to stay away from them. Oh. But they are harmless, they're decomposers. And without them, the rainforest would cease, cease to exist because they actually break down all the dead and decaying ma matter so that the rest of the rainforest can breathe. So huh. they're doing so much good. Well, yeah. thank you, Larry. They, they, they <laughs> How about Louisa? Fake. Louisa also, thank you. <laughs> they do look fake. I think it's because we see so many fake ones, you know, especially this time of year with Halloween on yeah. the horizon. Uh, thanks for bringing the scary animals, uh, yeah. Tara See, they're not so scary anymore. They're not so no. scary. And these are ones you might be able to see at Spooky Safari. Um, we extended the day, so um, we actually have Saturday is our last day of Spooky Safari this year, um, and it's from 5 to 8, um, and it's my favorite, one of my very favorite events of the zoo, and it's safe trick-or-treating, and you know, Ashley, because you came Oh on my this gosh, I'm so glad that you extended <laughs> it another day. Maybe I'll go back. We had so much You took fun. summer, didn't you? Yes, and you know, I have to be honest, it was my first time going to the zoo, and we had such a great time it's such a great place oh thank you it yeah. was so so awesome but I mean there's so much to see especially we went spooky safari so yeah, there's candies there's and everything a, yeah there we are there Yay, we are oh, that's the <laughs> best <laughs> Halloween costume I've ever Wasn't seen it? oh my gosh I think she um, drew the most attention oh, she was <laughs> fascinated with my leaves uh, there thanks she to is. my, my meme and my mom that's why yeah, <laughs> yeah we had such a great time and of course there are so yeah. many other great costumes and kids and yeah there's a uh, costume oh, there's contest Allie. yeah there's a costume contest and we have a bounce house and a game tent and we pass out um uh, tricks and treats. So we have like little games and we have candy and the kids can come around and oh, collect from stations. Oh, I got tattoos stations. and rings and candy and yeah. we had such a great time. It's so <laughs> much fun. Okay, so do you have another animal yeah. for us here, Tara? Can we put this, these away? Yes. Perfect. I just got yeah. a little Couldn't bit tell me uh, that again. Yeah. scared. <laughs> oh, you can just grab them like that. Yes. They have a hard Bye, exoskeleton because they're an insect. Okay. Uh -huh. So let's put them down. So this next animal. Are you ready? No. And Carolyn, it's, no it's our newest ready. animal to the zoo. Should I turn around and I'm going to do this? N yeah, do you want to? She is our newest animal to the zoo. She actually came from <laughs> the Litchfield um, Hills um, Why are you Memorial leaving? Conservation Center. And What's going on? I'm going to need your help, Seth. <laughs> no. <laughs> yes. I'm so All right. I need is to be on the new, other is side. Is this a new animal to the zoo? She is brand new Son to the zoo. Taylor, you go places with that thing? Is I'm this going an to start. Yeah. That eats or constricts? Because that's really important. This, this space is, a is constrictor. really near me. Okay, that's better. She's a red tail boa constrictor. Am I supposed to touch it? Pick yes, it up? How does I want this you work? to. I want you to touch her. You can actually pick her up too. She's about nine and a half feet long, and she's a red tail boa. How heavy is she? Um, she's about 75 pounds right now, mm -hmm. and um, at the conservation center, she was not being used in programs, and I had gone on a zoo on the go with other animals. Animals and we started talking and we have a larger um, space for her and right now she eats large rats um, but eventually <laughs> she'll be able to eat small mammals silly question does she constrict the rats yeah, so and what, then she eats them? Yeah, so Why what, is she getting closer to my face? I don't know. The animals all just like they you. Really she like knows getting, that it's scary animal day. <laughs> Am I not supposed to look it in the eye? I feel like I'm staring <laughs> look down right now. Look her in the now. eye. She's already eating. I want you to feel how heavy she is. Hold her for me. Wow. Head. Isn't she heavy? Yeah. Ashley, why have you left? Do you, I don't know. Come, come, I'm much left? more comfortable Do back you know here. what she's doing with her tongue? I don't know, but I know that she's, she's getting She's picking up me. scents in the air, actually. So um, at the roof of her mouth, there's an organ called a Jacobson's organ. And the scents, the dust particles in the air are landing on her tongue. And when she puts her tongue back in her mouth, she um, touches that organ and it lets her know what's around her. So really? you're too big for her to eat. No offense. Thank you. So. I've been working out. <laughs> so she would not be able to eat you. And she does have teeth. People think that only um, venomous snakes 
um, have teeth, but venomous snakes are different because they have fangs and they actually inject a venom okay. into their prey. Uh -huh. <laughs> Whereas constrictors squeeze their prey, so they bite and latch on and then they wrap around it. Yeah. <laughs> now she's See, now the, the difference between uh, the Ashleys here at the station is <laughs> I, for one, don't love snakes. Ashley Baylor loves them. Yes, she does. She, she loves, loves all them. reptiles. So I, I'm just keeping my distance. And she yeah. can, she but can grow to be yes. isn't, isn't she cute? Yeah, this is some bun. They can no. grow to be about 13 to 15 feet long. So they're a relatively small constrictor. So, and they're some so can get heavy. even bigger. Yes, very, very heavy. I was heavy. blown away. You can almost not lift it. I'm going to commit. Yes. I'm going to commit and hold the rear. When they're younger, when they're younger, they're tree dwellers, but a snake this size would not really um, be able to climb up a tree. You're being a baby. Well, I, it's live TV. I don't want to scare everyone at home or myself to death. I'm going to pat her on the head. Scared. There we go. Well, she's, Tara Lynn, um, you scared me. This is, uh, thank you I'm for not bringing scared scary anymore. animals. Oh, I'm still going to stay over here. No, thank Ashley you, Tara Lynn. I'm growing she's up. A pro. I'm not afraid anymore. Thank you, Tara Lynn. <laughs> I can do this. And Simba and Larry and Louisa. Here's that. Get in here. Yeah. Thank you.